Welcome to the Diligent Minds Podcast. I'm your host, Dorian Jones. I make personal development easy so that you can achieve your goals, do all the things you put your mind to, give you motivation, and so much more. It's time for you to step up, do the work, and become the best version of yourself. Let's go ahead, dive right into the show. What's going on, Diligent Minds community? We back with another episode of the Diligent Minds Podcast. I know it's been a little minute. I know it's been two weeks. My bad. Hold up. I got a good reason why I wasn't here. But before we get into that, I'd like to welcome all my new listeners. I appreciate you for choosing me out of all the options that you had. It means so much to me. And if you like the show, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And everyone listening to this on Apple Podcasts, take a few seconds, scroll down to the bottom, leave a rating and review. It helps me grow the podcast. And don't forget to share with a friend or family member as well. So for me, the past couple of weeks have been they've been pretty good. Honestly, it's been really good weeks. I've been feeling like a new person. Uh, The first week while I missed it was because I was finishing up with that class that I was taking. And then I had got so overwhelmed because I waited to the last minute to finish a few things. And that was my fault. I hold myself accountable for that. But I did get it done. I did finish my class with an A with I think I had 94, 95 percent. So your boy's doing good with school. So that's why I missed the first week. And then the second week, which was last week, I was busy launching a podcast company, which is now live. I will put the link down below. It's called PodSpark. And the goal is to educate and help you grow your own podcast. So all the things that I've learned over the last, what, five and a half years of podcasting, I compress that for you. All the knowledge that I've learned, all the resources, everything is within this ebook. You do not need to leave. You don't need to to go and try to find a link. No, you can literally go in there, click it, and then you go where you need to go. And I'm also doing a special for the first 20 members to my membership. You will have it free for life. Have it free for life. All you got to do is go in there, subscribe, not even subscribe, just really um, apply to the um, apply to the community. You get in there. First 20 members are free. Everyone else after that is $19 a month. So if you've been thinking about starting a podcast, I'm helping people now with the company PodSpark. PodSpark Park Pod <laughs> PodSpark Podcasting is the name of the company and is now live. I will put the link down below so that you can learn how to start your own podcast. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. Besides that, in the past couple of weeks, I joined a run club here in LA. And that's been really good. It's been a it's been like feeling like a, a safe space for me. It's been a space where people come together. And they link and they all have like minds and it's a common light space where I can connect with like minded individuals. It's all about mindfulness and wellness, things that I'm into. And I've been saying that I want to get out a little bit more. I want to start just getting getting familiar with new people and new spaces. And that's what that's been doing for me. And it's a good community feeling. It gives me opportunity to run, work on my cardio. I've been working on my weight gain, which I gained what, like maybe I say in the last two weeks, maybe eight pounds, but I know one of those weeks I gained five pounds. So I've just been intentional about the things that I've been doing, intentional about the direction I'm going since I came back home. And all these things are just working out great. Just I'm really focusing step by step. I'm not worried about the past. I'm not worried about the future. I'm just focusing on the moment right now. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's episode. We're going to talk about bringing calm into your life. And that's something I'm going to touch on. And uh, before we even get into this episode, I want to take a moment and speak on uh, Sonia Massey's uh, death. I don't like that. I I talked about it on uh, a post that I posted on Instagram because I tried to avoid seeing the footage. But, you know, it was inevitable. I did see it and it just broke my heart. I'm not going to get too much into it because I get emotional about it. But it's one it's those things where we have to protect black women. Um, I know we you know, we speak. I'm speaking because I'm a black man, but I'm saying that because as a as a race, we don't stand by each other when it's not a cause. We don't stand by each other when there's not something going on. And there's no reason for her to lose her life. Just looking at that footage, just seeing everything. And what really bothers me is that they're going to put him on trial. What trial needs to happen? I'm not getting too political. I'm not getting too deep into it because I'm going to get emotional. But some things are just are just evident. Who in a right mind will feel good trying to defend this man, defend his actions? Uh, so I just want to take a moment and just have a moment of silence for for Sonia Massey and for other uh, victims who lost their life as well. 
So let's take a few seconds and just have a moment of silence. All right, blessings to her and her family. So today's episode, we are talking about how do you bring calm into your life? Because this came to me uh, because a few people actually said this to me before. They were like, you just so calm. You so chill. How do you do it? Like, how are you? How do you remain so calm in certain situations? And, you know, me in conversation, I'm always thinking like, you know what? I'm gonna make an episode about this. And that's where this episode came from. And for me personally, I already have a calm, more chill personality. I'm not somebody who's just like who's uptight. I'm not someone who's who's super loud. I just have a calm, cool demeanor. And the key for me personally, getting like this, it was learning to control my thoughts. Just being in spaces that make me slow down, live in the moment. And I think a lot of this came when I was living back in Arizona when I had my space because I created it more as a calm, soothing space. You know, I had my plants. I was meditating a lot. I still meditate now. I had calm colors. It was just like very minimalistic. So everything was just calm and slow. And I just grasped that on and I just really decided that I'm going to live a life as close as possible to living like a Zen feeling where everything just flows. Everything's just natural. Everything comes to you. And I like to run on my own time. (laughs) I'm somebody who don't like to rush. I don't like to do everything that everyone else is doing. I like to do me. So in order for me to do that, I like to plan my life accordingly. Things that I know I need to do, I make sure that I plan ahead, make sure I know how much time I have, how much time do I need. Give myself a good buffer because I know me and I know my personality and I properly manage my time, too. That's one thing that really helped me to be able to to bring that into my life was managing my time. And I learned how to focus more on letting things be just not labeling things as bad or good. Just allowing them to be what they're going to be and seeing it play all the way through before I jump to conclusions, before I make assumptions about something. I just see like, you know what, let's just see how this is going to play out. And let's see how I'm going to feel about it like a little bit in the future. Don't react to it right now. Don't react to it at this moment. I know it's easier said than done. I get, you know, I I fall off track sometimes. I'm not going to front. No, I do. But I do my best not to let things that are temporary throw me off balance. And that's how I bring that calm into my life. When I approach obstacles, I like to look at them and just be calm and look at them from a high level. And I do not attach my identity to the opinion of others. So these are just some of the ways that I've brought calm into my life over the past, like I say, maybe two and a half, three years. And these are the practices and the things that I've noticed as I became self-aware, as I began to notice and identify the events that made me change drastically. So if you're someone who's been struggling with that, you're always uptight, you're always on edge, anxiety. I'm going to just share a few tips with you to help you bring some type of calm into your life, at least be able to identify The moments where you need to pause and just reflect and just take a second to take a step back and then react to it. One of the first things that I did was I began to accept things as they are. I didn't try to fit a round peg into a square hole. This goes for people, situations. I didn't try to make things into what I wanted them to be. And this allows you to see things as they are. And we may find ourselves trying to fix a situation that we cannot control. And all this does is it just frustrates you. It makes you mad. You get stressed out. You begin to overthink. We just need to allow things to be what they're going to be. You cannot change an individual. You can't change some circumstances. You just have to allow it to be what it's going to be. It's all about how you react to it. Don't allow things that you can't control to throw you out of character. Don't allow these things to throw you off your frequency. You know who you are. You know who you want to become and the way that you're reacting to these things. Do they align with the person that you like to be? If not, take note of that and see how can you get the opposite reaction from yourself. The next thing you want to do is don't worry about what you can't control. If something is out of your control, just let it go. Allow it to be what it's going to be. Don't give it too much energy. Look at things like the weather. You cannot change it. All you can do is accept it and move accordingly. If you go out and you plan on having a sunny day, plan on the sun being out. Next thing you know, a storm rolls in. You can't change it. All you can do is accept it and move accordingly. 
And the same thing goes for life events. Some things will be out of our control and we find ourselves trying to make sense of of what's happening and look for a way to mold it into what we like it to be. We try to control the uncontrollable when in reality, when we're trying to do that. We're going to throw ourselves off balance again. We're going to throw off our energy levels and then it's not in your control anymore. Once you try to take control of things that you can't control, then you give control to that one thing. That could be a tongue twister. I'm going to say that again. Anytime you're trying to control anything that's not in your control. You handing over the control of yourself into that event, into whatever's bothering you. So, again, only a worry about the things you can't control and anything that you can't don't allow to throw you off your frequency. Always move with purpose. Always move with intention. And that's what helped me bring calm into my life. If I can't control it, if it has nothing to do with me, like, hey, it is what it is. Like, I can't do that. Some people say that's being nonchalant. I'm like, nah, that's just me protecting myself. That's just me preserving my energy, knowing what I can and can't handle. And it may not work for you. It may not work for you as an individual. You may find another coping mechanism when you deal with things you can't control. Whatever you find that works best for you, do that. I'm not saying do what I'm doing. These are just recommendations based on my experience personally. And one of the biggest ones for me was I always learned to focus on the now and just live in the moment. And I began to get this by meditating, deep breathing, especially when when you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling that anxiety or like you're like you're overthinking a little bit. You're starting to think a little bit too much. You thinking too deep into a situation. You just need to calm your nervous system. That's it. Just calm yourself. Relax a little bit. Sit there, breathe and just be with yourself. Sit with your thoughts and pay attention to the thoughts that's coming across your mind. What are these things telling you about yourself? Do you agree with them? Do you enjoy these thoughts? That's what this does when you just take that moment to to breathe and just be. When you focus on the now, you find gratitude and how blessed you are to be in the moment. You begin to realize how much the past or the future doesn't even matter because you can't control what's going to happen in the future and you can't change what's happened in the past. All you can do is focus on what you're doing at this moment. You live for now instead of worrying about tomorrow or yesterday. Too much worrying puts you on edge. You're not able to be present and perform at your best. If you played a sport before, You can't sit there being on that court thinking about, oh, yeah, what I'm going to do afterwards or damn, that happened in practice the other day. No, you need to be in the moment and worry about that shot. You need to be in the moment and worry about playing defense. And that's the same you need to think about when you live your life. Focus on the right now because you can't change anything from the past. All you can do is learn from it and move accordingly. Another thing that I like to tell people to do when they just feel like they a little overwhelmed or anxiety. Just get active and get outside. Do things that make you move and make you feel alive. This will bring balance into your life and it makes you feel good naturally. Being amongst the elements brings you just joy and peace. The fresh air, sounds of nature. These are all things that we as people find soothing. I don't care who you are. I don't care what walk of life you come from. Just being in that busy day to day life, uh, being in the city, then you just take time to go out and be amongst nature, leave your phone alone, leave people on the outside. Just like just be in a moment with nature. This is just bring so much joy into your life. When you do this on the regular, you learn how to invite this into your day to day life and you begin to adapt that sense of calm. You begin to adapt into that individual because, you know, How much different and how much better your life feels when you're calm, when you're amongst the nature. And then you'll want to replicate that feeling at different parts of your life when you're not in that space. So that's one thing that I want to really push for you to do. Get out, get active, get amongst the nature, get away from the phones, the devices, the fast life. Just slow things down for a bit. You don't have to do it every single day, but just at least do it maybe once a month or twice a month, whatever works for your lifestyle. But do Take that time for yourself. Go find a 
a park, go find a hiking trail, go find anything that will allow you to disconnect from your norm, disconnect from the fast paced day to day life. And you're going to thank yourself. And this one is the most important out of every single one. And that's take the time to listen and learn yourself. You must know who you are, know your triggers, know your limits, know what you can and can't handle. You're the most important project you'll ever work on, which is a lifelong project. And you'll change several times throughout your life. You notice different versions of yourself. You say, dang, I remember when I was this person. I remember when I went through this. I remember the past me would have snapped when I went through this. So you notice all these changes throughout these life stages. So take the time to learn all layers of you and find peace within. Once you find that peace within, the outside peace will follow. So those are all the tips that I want to touch on. If you want to bring calm into your life, these are things that have worked for me in the past and currently. So find those methods that are work for you. Find that time to relax, reflect and just be in the moment, not trying to force things to be what you want them to be, allowing them to to play out the way they're supposed to. Understand that everything that happens to you is happening to you for a reason. You don't see it right now. You don't know why this is happening. It may be unfortunate, but it's happening for the better, greater good of yourself. Because I know we all asking for different things in life. We all want something different than what we have. And sometimes the thing that's presented to us is putting us on that pathway that we need to go on, but we don't realize it in the moment. Just accept things as they are. Allow them to be. Don't try to force it. Don't try to go against the grain. Just go with the flow. Just be like the body of water. Just go. And then if that current changes, hey, you just flow with it. I want to see you bring that calm into your life because I'm telling you, it's a great space to be in. Don't forget to check out all the links down below. Don't forget to check out the podcasting company. Link is down there. Remember, first 20 members to the online community is free. The ebook is for sale. I'm not about to give it away because I put so much time and effort and so many resources in there. That is well worth it. I'm not even about to say, oh, yeah, it's free. Nah, it's not. <laughs> we got to we got to make sure that you get that value and understand that, hey, I'm ve- I'm investing into myself. I need to take this serious. It's not about to break the bank or anything. You'll see it once you click on it. And if you don't want to, you could join the email list for the podcast as well. While still we'll give out certain tips and tricks. Um, Everything else is down there. Do not forget to leave a rating and review. Refer to a family member or friend. Other than that, let's have a great week. It's going to be a great week. Set your intentions and just focus on what you can control. You hit an outro rolling in. You know what that means. Everybody's greatness with that. Even you.